So a few episodes back we covered Trimex Dragon build that used idle construct heads to create realistic wing movement. Now, Dr. Dalmaja has created this thing and it gives me the creepy crawlies. It's an insect build that moves by using the motion from the idle construct heads to propel itself forward. Terrifying. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. I said I wanted more Mulduga clips and Visual Geologist delivers. He calls this the Mulduga Thumper. This device baits the Mulduga into emerging from the sand. You could attach bomb flowers to the top if you really wanted to deal some damage. I can tell you with a great degree of certainty that this was not the intended solution. So we all know items like wings and balloons have a durability limit, but what about fans? After one to two hours of straight use, Ander discovered that this happens. The description of this clip really tickled me. Mr. Pinecone said, Amusement ride could be used to torture Koroks. A few episodes back, we showed you the infinite bomb flower glitch. There were a few questions about how it was done. Well, Blackbeard has captured the setup they used. The Bokoblin aggros onto this upside down homing cart that must be locked onto the enemy. Link must be wearing a mask that makes him invisible to the Bokoblin in order to not break the aggro. Our resident tumbleweed expert Mr. Sage is back, making your old builds 10 times more efficient using, you guessed it, tumbleweed. Today he's showing us his pod racer build that uses a single fan to push 8 tumbleweeds at the front of the vehicle. When you point a fan at tumbleweed attached to a vehicle, it creates considerable thrust, because broken physics. In protest of wings being low durability and relatively useless in a flying craft, Colonel Thief has created the worst functional wheel in existence, and I love it. SM239 has found another use for wings, a device for deploying his tank into the depths. The wing is acting as a parachute and limiting the tank's fall speed. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. The Janeway effect has created probably the fastest, steerable and most stable pair of mech legs I think I've ever seen. You might be wondering, what is that? 
Well, it's two shrine bowls that have been shrine stolen. They act almost as hip joints for the two legs and keep everything held in place. Oh, f <laughs> Ouch, that's annoying. But if you've ever wondered just how far you can recall an item, you're in luck. That's all the way from a sky island to the ground. Ivan has a question for the group. Can this be considered humane slaughter? Sounds delicious. And it's time for House of the Day. This is Dulai's 17th attempt to create a house they are proud of, and this is the final design. Oops, there goes the balloon. Oh god. Ken might have just pulled off the most epic finishing move on a boss I've ever seen. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.